Hi, this is O'Neill and you're watching O'Neill's Aquascaping. Guys, we are at Caleb's house and Caleb is an aquascaping beginner. So, hi Caleb, how are you doing today? Hey O'Neill, thanks for having me on this channel. 35 cm shallow tank and Caleb wanted help from me. So, here I've come down to his place to help him out. So, let's see how it goes. Let's get started. We are using volcano mineral as the base which is going to be under the aqua soil. The reason we are doing this is so that the plants can take root into this which is more sturdier and it won't be moving as much. So the plants won't be moving and be kept as the, it will be more rigid. So this is the aqua soil we are going to be using Amazonia by ADA version 2. It's supposedly the best or if O'Neill says so then it probably is. And guys while I am doing this. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and click the bell icon to receive notifications. Uh, we then have La Plata Sand, again ADA, we only use the best over here. So yeah, that's about it. Rocks we are going to be using for the hardscape for the aquascaping. These are dragon stones which we got from the pet store. Uh, Caleb, would you like to tell about yourself? And uh, do you mind sharing with us what got you into aquascaping? So how I got into aquascaping. So basically I didn't get into aquascaping. I got into f uh, fishes mostly. I loved fishes. I loved my favorite fishes are the guppies and uh, mollies because they're live bearers and like you get to sell them. So basically ever since I was small, my, my godfather used to have a tank, a huge two feet or three feet tank. And he always kept fish. And I was always fascinated by fishes, but I never got to keep one. Because my parents were never okay with it. But now that I've turned 19, I'm going to go to 20. They said, okay, you can start keeping tanks. And guys, this is the kind of hardscape that my friend was looking to do for. Thank you, Caleb, for sharing your journey with us. Now, guys, I'm done with finalizing the hardscape and spraying it and making it wet so that we could start planting. And here I'm using a Chihiro tweezers today. So this is how you do it. You take the tweezers, hold the plant with it, close it. Slide it inside the soil till you reach the surface. Once you reach the surface, make sure you open the tweezers a little bit, slowly and pull it outside. The plant will stay there. Guys, here I'm doing it again. This time it's with the plants for all the aquascaping beginners who want to learn how to plant with tweezers. So guys, while I'm doing the planting, let's go ahead and talk to Caleb for a bit and get to know the, his thoughts about aquascaping. So the experience into getting aquascaping was pretty easy because of O'Neill's uh, tutorials and videos. Uh, his videos really helped me out a lot into getting into aquascaping which made my experience a little bit easier. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty difficult to aquascape for the first time. Uh, it was pretty scary but um, with his videos it really helped me and used uh, some footage of my two tanks which I made. And now since we're doing the tutorial of the 75, 75 centimeter tank over there, so it'll help other people out. Oh my god, that was really a detailed experience and a journey that you just shared with us. So one last question for now, what what made you do this third tank? Into what made me want to get a third tank is basically, um, if you get one, you want to get more, am I right? So I was thinking, uh, I want to do something different. So I have two 36 by 22s into 26 tanks. And I thought like if you get one, you get two, then you get three and I want to get like a billion more. So the reason I wanted the third tank was because it was a shallow tank and I saw it was relatively cheap. Since I'm a student, I don't really have lots of money to spend on tanks. And O'Neill shows the way how to, how to make a tank look good, which is high tech, but also in a, uh, in a cheaper way, which is something which is more suitable towards me since I'm not working yet. And the whole shallow tank, I just want like a new experience and like how to make the tank and how it looks. So yeah, so that's the reason I wanted to get a third tank and I want all of you to get more tanks and watch his videos. So guys, that's about it, getting to know about Caleb and his passion about aquascaping. We are done with fixing all the plants and we'll be filling up with the water. So guys, if you have any comments or any feedback about the design, please go ahead and let me know in the comments section. I've tried to do a blend of Iwagumi and Dutch aquascape. So here I'm filling it with the water. Please stay till the end of the video guys, because I've got some really cool shots at the end of the video and I'm pretty sure all of us would want to see how did the aquascape turn out to be like. Keep watching. So guys, this is how it looks on day one. 